been making meatballs and I couldn't find lamb so it's half pork, half beef and non-traditional ingredient. I added some Shaoxing wine and some pecorino cheese and the reason I added the wine is because I was kind of scared the beef was slightly bad for, uh, on delivery. And then the rest of the ingredients are pretty standard. Egg, some dried basil, some dried parsley, some garlic powder, this is not garlic salt, and some red chili flakes. And you notice on this bowl on the side, I don't have breadcrumbs, so I do what old people do. They uh, soak bread in uh, water or milk, and then they break it apart in the meatballs. And lastly, this is salt. I should have added some more. And this feels gross, but without it, it's not a meatball. And uh, I could, even fast forwarding this like 10 times the speed or something, uh, it was still too much footage of mixing this meat. Um, and when making meatballs, don't squeeze uh, too hard. You want it to still be kind of light. It should be slightly difficult to form the meatballs. And again, I don't have breadcrumbs, so I coat them in uh, plain flour. And if you have very warm hands, you might need to have a separate bowl of cold water to dip them in. And ideally, you would roll them all first and then flour them all after they are shaped because uh, you don't want to get too much flour in the mix, but I was too lazy, so I just got flour in the meatball mix. And of course, I'm not going to eat all this. Uh, this is perfect freezer food. There's so many meatballs. This is this is the worst part of making this, but it's worth it. This is how many meals? Five meals, six meals? Maybe more. And you put it in a relatively hot oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Quite sorry. And to serve, uh, I like dried spaghetti for this, but I had some leftover egg pepperdell. So I just used that. And my dressing is simple. Some of my nicer olive oil and some dried thyme. And I put this on a warm plate. And then I drain the noodles thoroughly and I just toss in the oil. And then I also add some black pepper to this too. And then I just serve with some meatballs on top.
And my cooking time will vary a lot. I think some people say it takes 20 minutes, but for me it's a little bit longer. Probably because my oven is not that good. And I serve with shaved parmesan. Or I think this is pecorino too. Same cheese. And yeah, there's no footage of me uh, eating this because my camera died, but yep, thank you for listening to Ramble and have a nice rest of your day.